Hello, this is Claude, and uh, today I'm making a video about a uh, new laptop that I have, a uh, ThinkPad, a Lenovo ThinkPad P52. And uh, I am fortunate enough to work for a very good, a great, as a matter of fact, a great company. And uh, they just uh, gave us new laptops, and they were going to give me a Lenovo uh, 480. And I've asked, well, I'm a power user. Well, I like to think that I am. And uh, I need a, a P52, so it's got the Quadro or the Quattro, whatever it's called, the graphics card, uh, which actually I tested and is good to up to four in independent monitors. So I'm just gonna go through the specs real quick, but today's uh, video, the point of the video is uh, we're gonna change the RAM on the uh, on the computer. So right now I've got uh, 16, and I'm gonna just increase to 32 and maybe put the other 16 um, for 48 in the back, but uh, the first, for sure, I need to make sure that these are gonna work in dual channel or together uh, so uh, I'm gonna put them under the keyboard so I'm gonna that's the most difficult uh, thing to do all right so that's what I'm going to do and uh, let's go quickly over the, the, the computer just uh, so uh, you know some uh, and people might have interest in this laptop um, so yeah so uh, it's got a matte screen 15.6 not gonna go through that there are reviews for this uh, what I'm gonna say about this is uh, it's uh, let me just turn this off completely. Now, uh, one thing that I really like from this uh, computer is that the uh, the touchpad is very nice. Uh, the keyboard is amazing. Best keyboard I've had on the uh, on the laptop, and I've got an MSI Apache, whatever it is, GR something, long name. Uh, you know what? Uh, this is way better, actually, way better. So um, the sound is kind of uh, coming up from here. It's very, it's not loud at all. So this, I have to say, it's a thumbs down on the volume. Keyboard is the best. Uh, the monitor, the screen, 15.6 uh, is really good. Uh, so that's a positive. The touchpad, the trackpad is very good as well. Uh, the finish is very nice, uh, very professional. That's a business machine. And that is the uh, bottom of the, uh, the, the, uh, the computer. Uh, so, and I'm going to look at it because I'm going to uh, probably install a, a the second uh, M2 drive. Uh, as per the specs, it says that I can do that. Uh, so you've got uh, on this side a, a USB uh, 3. Uh, you've got the memory uh, card full size, and I've got one right here. Uh, so that's on this side. On the other side, you have also the audio jack, audio microphone. Uh, you've got USB 3, uh, display port, uh, and on this uh, the back, you've got the um, you know, uh, uh, RJ45 or the Ethernet cable, HDMI, uh, Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt, USB-C Thunderbolt, and then here you've got the, uh, the power. On the Thunderbolt, I have a docking station, and that comes with two monitors. So put two monitors on this thing. I've got the one HDMI right here and uh with the other ports display port and all that so i've been i was able to put up to five uh, monitors and uh nvidia uh told me at some point uh the nvidia settings that i, I could do only uh, four uh, only four for a laptop so uh, yeah it's amazing all right so uh, like i was going to say let's turn this baby back all right so unlock you know what i didn't need that Battery just removed just fine. So um, yeah, let's see what's uh, behind the panel. All right, there you go. Okay. I am not gonna turn that around. Not to have the screws falling. There's nothing to see here anyway. Looks like a SATA bay. So that's uh, one M2 right here. Is that populated? There you go. Okay, this one is not populated. So I've got the one empty M2 slot right here. Okay, interesting. And the other one is populated. And I have my uh, 512 gigabyte drive. So what do we have over here? So this is the um, so dim. So I can put one here. Let's see if the original one that I have is in there. No, it's under the 
so I could put uh, so that's the other slot for memory because I think I'm gonna have to put this whole thing open this whole thing up completely there you go I don't want to scratch nothing so it'll be very gentle there are some screws under here yep okay so that was very nice and gentle okay so that was the right side and we're going to do the same thing on the left side that's what it is Then I assume you just yank it back, but and there's ribbons always, so yank it back. There you go, nice and easy. Don't pull. So, well, you know what? Let's do this uh, thing that there's takes way longer than it should there you go ram pull on that side pull on the other tab at the same time it's gonna lift up uh, and there it is Put our new sticks. Line with the grooves. Seems all right. All right, it seemed like it snapped properly. Put the metallic shield back. There you go. Don't forget to put the metallic shield back, like I almost did. Not a biggie, but still. Little screw. There you go. Okay, now making sure that you don't need to put it anything back. Let's do this again. Slide it over there. Slide it in the back. Make sure the ribbon's good. Okay, put everything down. I can bring it back a little bit. There you go. Bring it back, bring it back. It's all good. Screw the screws. About 10 turns. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Once it stops, you just put a quarter of a turn torque. Put the little thingies back. So I'm gonna put this first. Bring in first. Like this. Alright, so memory, it now says 48 gigs of memory, so I've got uh, three sticks. So that's uh, 48 gig right here, and it tells me that I've got three sticks. So that's what it is. Alright, so uh, job is done, keyboard is working, mouse pad is working, everything is working fine, so this is uh, call it a day. So uh, that's what it is. So that's how you change the uh, 
the memory under the keyboard on the Lenovo ThinkPad P52. All right, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.